Hey guys, um, doing something a little bit different. This is actually going to be on my real estate. So if you've been following this channel, I've obviously talked a lot about my real estate investments. So I'm actually now going to be showing you guys one of my real estate investments that I made. Probably one of my better ones. Um, uh, we'll go through this. Um, and like I said, in the future, not anytime soon, I do plan on hopefully creating some sort of secur security coin asset to back it with my real estate to do future real estate investments. And just in general, I want to inspire people in my audience. I don't think right now is a good time to get into real estate. I would stick to investing in cryptocurrency, but pay attention to real estate markets. And hopefully you yourself will take advantage of the next downturn in the real estate market and make similar investments to you know what I did. And uh, I'll be 100% honest too. So I, I, I did really get lucky. So I graduated college 2008. I bought my first property in 2010. This property right here, I bought in September of 2010. I was 23 years old and I got really lucky because I'm going to be 100% honest. I did not have that much experience. I do have my broker's license in real estate, which is one level higher than a real estate agent. So I did have some education. I did work at a commercial real estate firm, Marcus and Millichap. But let's just go through this deal. I, I just want to share it with you guys. And um, so far, real estate has probably been my best investment. Um, I did start a medical diagnostic company, uh, which cost me very, very little money. And it's also made a lot of money for me. But long term, I still feel like most of my net worth has been created through real estate investments. And probably the best thing I've done, at least recently, is not buy real estate. I actually made my last real estate purchase. I did buy a property in Vegas, but that's a completely different story. And I'll probably make another video on that. But I really stopped buying most of my real estate after 2012. In fact, my last purchase was, yeah, it was like September of 2012. So I've been sitting, renting, renovating. But let's just go over this real estate deal because I think this is the second property I bought. Um, and what I love is you see that the rent is five grand. <laughs> And look at the rent estimate on Zillow, 3200 And what's funny is I actually had real estate agents come look at it. And that's what real estate agents do. They're, 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 I mean, I don't want to trash all real estate agents, but I got a real estate agent that was lazy and basically went on probably Zillow and was like, yeah, this is probably going to get you $3,000, you know, three to three and a half thousand. And I'm like, oh, really? Well, you know, the previous tenant was paying 3800 And, um, he, he was just like, no, that's too high. You can't do that, blah, 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 blah. So I actually went ahead and just put the ad up for actually 4,200 because I was like, you know what? I'll shoot for the stars. And I know that, you know, to get an apartment around this area, like a two bedroom, it's, you know, over two grand. So a six bedroom, three bath should be, you know, should be able to go for more. And I got lucky. This property is now leased. I actually got the deposit today. And what was really funny is I was freaking out because I wasn't able to find a tenant. And I was actually at Coachella last last week and I was freaking out. I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna have this property rented. And um, I've never really had a vacancy in any of my properties. Southern California is really easy. Um, you shouldn't have more than a month vacancy in Southern California unless you're just lazy or you're working with bad real estate agents. Anyways, this other real estate agent who looked at my Facebook ad, so I made some extra ads, even though um, I was getting recommendations from other real estate agents, I made some ads. This other real estate agent I knew saw my ad and was working with students at Chapman University. And I guess I just got lucky where they're all right now fighting for housing. And what do you know? I got this property rented out for five grand a month when Zillow and some other people told me I can only get three, three and a half grand. And like I said, my previous tenant who had moved out was paying me 3,800. So uh, the moral of this story is hustle. Do not believe in just one expert or one professional. Uh, do your own research, do your own work. If you do get into real estate, I still recommend using real estate agents. Um, especially in the beginning because you're new at it, but that shouldn't prevent you as an owner putting up your own ads and just doing some of your own work and even do some of your own showings, man. It's just a good experience. But anyways, another reason why this deal kicks ass is not only is it paying me rent, um, I'll go ahead and tell you my mortgage. My mortgage for this property, um, because I did put 20% down back in the day, is $1,500. I pay $1,500 a month for this property and starting uh, next month, I'll be collecting $5,000 of rent. 
Um, and what's even more beautiful is where is the Zillow estimate? There is a Zillow estimate, but anyways, this is the history. And if you can't see, I bought this property in 2010. So August 31st for 410. And there should be the Zillow value. So price history, home value. So there we go. So the estimate for this is $780,000. So I almost doubled my investment and I just told you what I put as a down payment. So I bought it for about 400K. My down payment was about uh, 80 grand. Let's just say with fees and bullshit because that's how it is in real estate. I basically had to put $90,000 to buy this property in 2010. I've been collecting more than 3,500 because when I first started, I would actually rent all the rooms. I would literally move into the property, rent all the rooms. Once all the rooms are rented, I would rent the room that I'm living in, go back to my parents' house, <laughs> buy another property, move into it, rent the rooms. That's how I used to hustle. But anyways, uh, this, this was a great investment. And um, I don't think real estate right now is good. That's why I'm following cryptocurrency. I think uh, for a lot less work, depending on what how well you can hold the currency, it's a better investment. But uh, no matter what, this was an $80,000 or $90,000 investment, which is a lot. And like I said, there's other markets where you can go to where you can put like 3% down, um, you can do lower amounts. And like I said, I wouldn't do in this market, wait for prices to come down. But no matter what, I invested $90,000 and I am now collecting close to half 5,000 a month. So that's $60,000. I mean, there's obviously expenses, but it's, a, it's an asset that's generating gross 60,000 a year and now it's worth almost 800 grand which is basically double it, it went up a hundred percent or almost a hundred percent in eight years so um, this is why like I said don't buy brand new cars don't buy uh, designer clothes uh, eat out less um, just save your money, man, because you can put your money to work for you. And um, one of the things I've done as I've gotten older is I've actually become less flashy. Uh, I am guilty. Uh, when I was doing really, really well, I bought a Porsche, I bought a Range Rover and try to, you know, look like I was, you know, well off. And I'm telling you right now, it just hurts you unless you're in like real estate sales or some sort of way where your job you have to drive nice cars have suits and ties and all that stuff then do it but the way i'm gonna do it for the rest of my life is i wear like costco clothes i try to act like i'm poor even though i'm not and i just try to be really modest and i try to be as humble as possible obviously i'm not doing that because i'm right now bragging and boasting about my investments but if you don't really know me um at least the young me, I would obviously brag about this shit, but for the most part, um, now I try to stay very low key. Um, when people ask me how much real estate I own, I usually just tell them, which this is the truth, is most of my properties I own with partners. Um, I don't try to tell them how many properties I own. Um, I just try to stay low key, and I think that's something you should pick up, everyone should pick up, is uh, just stay low key, stay humble, uh, don't buy expensive shit. Try to appreciate like simple things and uh, just get habits that help you save up money. And then, like I said, as soon as you can, and real estate's not the only way to make money. You can do businesses, you can do other things to make money, but figure out a way to make your money work for yourself. And eventually you do not want your job to be 100% of your income. You don't even want your job to be 50%. The goal of this channel and uh, whoever is going to follow me and follow, you know, try to get advice from me is that you eventually want, uh, more than 50% of your income to come from your passive investments. And, you know, it can be real estate, cryptocurrency, whatever you name it. Um, so I'll do a couple more of these where I guess I'm going to brag and boast about my real estate investments, but I, um, I do want to share this information and I do want to uh, inspire you guys, but, once again, I'm going to repeat it. I would not buy real estate right now. I would even rent and continue to rent uh, until prices come down. What I would do is save money. I would definitely research and get into cryptocurrencies. Um, it, there's a lot of side businesses you can do. I don't do any Amazon stuff or other side hustles, but I mean, for example, I'll tell you one thing I still do is I still actually right now tutor kids for 80 bucks an hour. 
<laughs> and, and really I shouldn't have to. I mean, I just told you I got real estate income, but that's just a nice side hustle and, and something I enjoy. I also teach tennis lessons. <laughs> Once again, like I, I really, you know, my time should be worth more, but I just enjoy doing it and I make money and it's just a side hustle. So, um, figure out ways to do side hustles. You know, the business, the real estate, that stuff is in the future. If you're starting from ground zero, I would just figure out how you could spend most of your time doing something you enjoy and make some sort of side income and then just build that nest egg. And, you know, you might have to start with like $10 or $20 or even $100, but you can make it grow. Um, I believe in you and, you know, subscribe to this channel. Um, I'll try to do some more stuff like this. Uh, and like I said, I'm trying to bring some credibility. So I do have a lot of opinions, but uh, I like to say that, you know, I got educated and I don't think education is that good of a deal. I kind of regret paying 120 grand to get my master's degree. <laughs> but anyways, I've rented a lot. So um, leave your comments below if you want more stuff like this. I can go over some of my other real estate deals where pretty much that's where I've made most of my uh, money. And uh, like I said, I, I really do hope to uh, open up some sort of cryptocurrency asset backed investment in the future. Not anytime soon when it's all regulated. And uh, I hope to inspire some people. Maybe you'll reach out to me because like I said, I, most of my properties are in California, but I do want to invest in other markets. I did invest in Vegas, so Nevada. I'm interested in Arizona, tax-free states, uh, Florida, Texas. So maybe uh, by me making this stupid video, uh, I'll inspire and in the future, I can maybe do some business in real estate in those markets or other markets that you guys are interested in. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.